In Las Vegas, a humanoid robot just stood up on a live stage and walked like it belonged there. And by the end of this video, you'll understand what Boston Dynamics' new Atlas is actually for, why Hyundai is betting on it, and why the biggest leap might not be the robot's body, but the brain it's about to learn from. There's a twist in this demo, and it changes how you should read the whole humanoid robot race. CES is usually a parade of shiny promises. But this time, the promise got up off the floor and started walking. According to NBC News' report on the event, Boston Dynamics showed Atlas publicly for the first time at CES, stepping into the same humanoid arena that Tesla and others want to own. Here's why it matters right now. The robotics industry is moving from viral lab clips to deployments, supply chains, and factories that don't forgive mistakes. On January 5th, during Hyundai's CES media presentation, Boston Dynamics unveiled the product version of its new Atlas robot. And on that same stage in Las Vegas, they ran a live demonstration of the Atlas prototype, life-sized, two arms, two legs, picking itself up and walking around for minutes. It waved. It looked around. And it did something even more impressive than acrobatics. It didn't mess up. Here's the weird part. The company said an engineer remotely piloted Atlas for the stage demo. That's not a gotcha. It's a clue. Because the story of humanoid robots in 2026 isn't just about balancing. It's about control. Who's driving, how much autonomy is real, and how fast the training loop is getting. If you've ever watched robotics videos and thought, okay, but can it work a real shift? That's the question Atlas is trying to answer. And Boston Dynamics is framing this as industrial from day one. In its announcement, the company said it will begin production of the new Atlas at its Boston headquarters immediately. It also said all Atlas deployments for 2026 are already fully committed, with fleets scheduled to ship to Hyundai's Robotics Metaplant Application Center and to Google DeepMind in the coming months. That's not a prototype timeline. That's an operations timeline. But that still leaves the biggest question. What can this thing actually do? beyond a carefully planned walk across the stage. Let's translate the specs into reality. Boston Dynamics says Atlas has 56 degrees of freedom, meaning 56 independent ways its joints can move, like having dozens of mini motors coordinating at once. It also says Atlas has fully rotational joints, a reach extending to 2.3 meters, and the strength to lift up to 50 kilograms. In human terms, it's built to reach high, bend creatively, and handle industrial weight objects. The key phrase in the announcement is enterprise-grade humanoid. Boston Dynamics describes Atlas as capable of industrial tasks, from material handling to order fulfillment, and says it works autonomously with minimal supervision. And there's a detail that sounds small, but it's huge for factories. The company claims Atlas doesn't need to stop when battery power runs low because it can navigate to a charging station, swap out its own batteries, and get back to work. If that holds up in real deployments, it's a direct attack on downtime the silent killer of robotics, ROI. Boston Dynamics also says Atlas can be controlled in three ways. Autonomous mode, teleoperated, or using a tablet steering interface. That matters because autonomy isn't binary. In the real world, robots usually start with training wheels, then earn trust. And in environments with people, forklifts, and constant surprises. That path to trust is everything. One more practical piece. Boston Dynamics says Atlas connects to industrial systems via its Orbit software, including MES and WMS integrations. MES is basically the factory's nervous system, tracking what's being built and when. WMS does the same for warehouses and inventory, so Atlas isn't pitched as a standalone gadget. It's pitched like a new worker that plugs into the workflow, not look what it can do. More like, look where it can fit. Okay, so Atlas is strong, flexible, and designed for integration. But what makes it smarter tomorrow than it is today? Hyundai's public messaging is blunt. Boston Dynamics is partnering with Google DeepMind, aiming to combine humanoid robots with DeepMind's Gemini Robotics AI foundation models. A foundation model is basically a general-purpose AI starter brain that can be adapted to many tasks, rather than training a brand new model for every single job. In other words, the bet is that robots will learn like software now. Faster updates, broader skills, and fewer hard-coded behaviors. TechCrunch also reported that the partnership focuses on using Google DeepMind's AI Foundation models for robotics research, with Atlas as the first test case. And it added a key scaling signal. Boston Dynamics already has commercial robots in the field, like Spot in more than 40 countries, 
and Hyundai says its warehouse robot stretch has unloaded more than 20 million boxes since launching in 2023. So, this isn't a team that's learning how to ship. It's a team trying to ship something harder. Now, zoom in on the factory use case, because that's where humanoids either become real or become a footnote. Reporting syndicated on Yahoo Finance said, Boston Dynamics expects a commercial version of Atlas, meant to help assemble cars, to be operational by 2028 at Hyundai's electric vehicle plant near Savannah, Georgia. That timeline is ambitious, but it's also specific. And specifics are what separate a concept from a plan. And here's the viewer self-insert. If you're a developer, this is the moment to pay attention to interfaces, teleop tools, safety constraints, simulation, and task recipes. If you run a business, this is the moment to think less about humanoid hype and more about one painful workflow that never stays staffed, never stays safe, and never stops costing money. Because that's how these robots enter, one task at a time, until the factory quietly rebalances around them. But before anyone declares victory, there's a reason robotics companies usually avoid live humanoid demos. Humanoid robots fail in the most human way possible, publicly. In late 2025, a news report described one of Russia's early humanoid robots collapsing shortly after being introduced, exactly the kind of moment that turns engineering into a meme. That's why CES stage time is high risk, and why Boston Dynamics choosing to do it is meaningful. There are technical risks too, especially when you move from a controlled demo to messy reality. Boston Dynamics says Atlas includes safety features like human detection and fenceless guarding, and it can operate across temperatures from minus 20 to 40 degrees Celsius while being water resistant. That's the language of deployment, because factories don't care how cool your robot is. They care how reliably it behaves around people. And then there's the human system risk, jobs, training, and pressure. Even if humanoids don't replace whole roles overnight, they can still change bargaining power, shift schedules, and concentrate control. A balanced perspective is this. Robots don't eliminate work so much as they reorganize it, often towards supervision, maintenance, and higher leverage problem solving, if companies invest in that transition. The mitigation isn't a slogan. It's policy, retraining, and designing jobs that keep humans in the loop, especially early on. So what should you watch next? First, whether those 2026 deployments to Hyundai's RMAC and Google DeepMind turn into repeatable playbooks, not just one-off showcases. Second, whether foundation model robotics makes training new tasks feel more like updating an app than rewriting control code. And third, whether the humanoid form proves its worth, because sometimes the best robot doesn't look like a person, it just solves the job. If this works, the long-term shift could look like this. Factories stop buying single-purpose machines and start hiring fleets, machines that can be reassigned, retrained, and redeployed as fast as demand changes. Or the opposite happens. Humanoids stay rare because simpler robots win on cost, safety, and maintenance. Either way, the future won't be decided by one viral clip. It'll be decided by uptime charts and whether humans still trust the floor. So yes, Atlas walking on stage was the headline. But the deeper story is that Boston Dynamics is building Atlas like a product, shipping it like a fleet, and pairing it with the kind of AI that could make learning a task faster than programming it. The question isn't, can robots look human? It's, when robots finally work like workers, what do we ask them to do first? What's one job you've personally done, or seen, where you'd actually want a humanoid robot on the team? That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.